The tutorial is simple, but the styling is what really makes this project. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am super excited for today's project because if you saw my last thrift haul, then you know that I recently went to Chicago and there's a thrift store that has a three for one dollar day. Yes, three for one dollar, so where everything that is that color tag is three, four dollars. So I was able to stock up on men's dress shirts and bring them back here to Houston. So I have enough dress shirts to last me for a while. Someone suggested that I do just this super, super simple dress shirt dress. <laughs> it's not really called that, but I, whenever I see a button up woman's dress, I think I can make that out of a men's dress shirt. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And let's get started. All right, so I have on this men's dress shirt and actually I think on the screen it's coming off a little bit uh, more off white and it's it's more yellow in real life so i thrifted this for under a dollar i'm sure or maybe a dollar but i absolutely love this i think this would be an amazing dress all by itself i think it's actually sick but um i wanted to show you guys just a really really simple way how you can turn any man's dress shirt into a dress a normal woman's dress that will fit you you just need a men's dress shirt that is you know pretty long, but it doesn't have to be super long because we're adding a layer. It can't be too small for you. It can either fit you or be a little bit too big for you. If it's too big for you, I'm going to show you how to take it in a little bit. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take this off and we're going to put it on inside out. And the purpose for this is I just want to see how much of it I need to take in on the sides. The great thing, and you want to button at least a couple buttons just to make sure you don't pull it too much because, you know, it's a dress, so it's going to need to be buttoned. You want to take it and just pinch it a little bit. I don't want this super fitted at all. And you can either add pants or just kind of know, like this is in my mind, this is about two inches. So I know I need to take about two inches off each side and then from the bottom, I think I will add a pin here. I kind of like the sleeves a little bit loose, but it's more like three inches in the baggiest part of the sleeve. All right, so this is the shirt that I am going to use as the ruffle. It is a smaller shirt and it's short sleeve. So you could definitely use a short sleeve shirt for the dress if you want to, but these match, the colors match. So I bought this one to be the ruffle, but I've been thinking like, if I do this creatively, I might end up being able to come away with a dress and a cute crop top. So let's see what happens as we go along. <laughs> Hey, if you're enjoying this content and want to see more like it, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the bell and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. We're on our way to a million. Yes, I said it. Even at this point, we're on our way to a million. I'm doing a giveaway for every 100,000. So definitely share this video so everyone knows all the amazing stuff going on here. All right, so I have the second shirt that I tried on and also have my curve ruler. And what I'm going to do is kind of uh, simulate the bottom curve a little bit. I want it to be a little bit more curvy than that. So I'm actually going to cut off a little bit from the bottom, but I'm gonna keep that curve and I am going to move up about, let's say, have that upside down. Let's say about six inches, six and a half six and a half inches. And I'm gonna cut that same curve again. This curve is arbitrary. It could be whatever you want to, um, as curvy as you can make it. That's gonna make your frills like more flowy, if that makes any sense. This works on sleeves and it also works on like frilly layers. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. So now we can go ahead and cut those out. And hopefully what's above there, we can walk away with a frilly crop top. We'll see. And just so you know, I drew on this with a heat erasable uh, pen, but it's mostly on the sides that will be like a seam. So even if it comes back when it is cold, it's okay. All right, so we can take this portion away for the moment. The next thing we need to do is take this and make it into one big circle curve, not like this. That is not what we want. We want basically this. And we want it to keep going around and around, around and around and around. So what you're trying to create is a big half circle. 
So I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and sew these down. And I'm also going to serge the edge so that I can just do a hem at the end. So here is my curve. It's making a nice little curve, but I need to go ahead and cut this excess. I forgot a bit of my circle geometry, which is bad for an architect, <laughs> but yeah. I did. Um, I forgot that when you're cutting circles, you always have to measure, you know, perpendicular to the curve. So once you get over here, I should have measured that that curve should have been lower or it should have gone up higher on the side. So uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. it's only five and a half on the sides and it's six and a half in the middle. So I'll just make everything five and a half when I surge or I just won't it'll be asymmetrical you know which could be cute too so I probably will just leave it and see how it turns out I am game for that so I am going to go ahead and surge these and we'll be ready to gather them and attach it so we have the side of the dress part the top portion and I think I said two inches from the side and three inches from the sleeve and so I have two inches marked off here and I just laid it flat as flat as, ouch, <laughs> I always do that. I laid it as flat as possible and we're gonna sew a line that goes straight from the hem all the way up to underneath the arm and then through the sleeve and that's about three inches, yeah through the sleeve to the cuff. And when we get down to the cuff, we are going to taper off because I don't want to have to readjust this cuff any. All right, so I'm going to cut off the sides. Make sure you don't cut off any of the actual fabric because this wasn't laid flat. And then I'm going to serge it on the sides. And we can also cut a straight line at the bottom. We could just attach it to this curve, but if we attach it to the curve and it's a curve, then it's not going to give me very much flare on the bottom of the dress. So you want that to be straight so that the curve of the little frill will actually frill. All right, so I went and gathered this because I have these two long pieces. I and I thought I wanted to use all of them, but it turns out that I don't. I don't want a super gathered look. All I want is a light ruffle. And so I'm gonna leave the little gather that I have. I'm not gonna take the time to take that out. But all I want to do is lay this shirt flat, line up the button placket on each side, pin it down, and at this point I'm putting both pieces on there and then I'm gonna meet them in the back. So I have the buttonhole side to the buttonhole side, the button side to the button side. And I am just going to sew it down this direction, sew it down in this direction. And then when I get to the back in the middle, I'll just join these pieces together. Will I, will I, will I? I'll keep going until one of them matches. I don't know. But one piece isn't long enough and two is too long. So we're going to sew it down and make it work. And if you're interested in getting more help for upcycling, you want to get better at it, definitely hit that join button down below to learn more about my members only group. I am doing my best to personally help those who are in need for my VIP group as well as my VIP Supreme group. So definitely check that out. And if you want to know what projects I'm going to do before I do them, hit that join button down below. All right, so here it is. You can see that it has just a slight ruffle at the bottom, which is what I wanted, but it was too long. So I joined it where they were the same length, which is not exactly in the middle, but this actually has seams kind of all over the place. So I'm not too concerned about it. So I am going to go ahead and cut off the excess so that I can surge the rest like this seam right here needs to be surged because this is dress shirt material, so it will fray. And I am also, once I surge it, I'm also going to do a top stitch to sew this stitch up this way. So I fold it up and then just sew it down along the edge. And this one is done. All right, is there anything that we can do? 
to this one. Nope, you'll have to watch part two to see that, but let's see how this one turned out and let's see how we can add a little blueprint DIY styling flair to it. All right, so I really like this. I would definitely wear this type of dress to church, but if you know me, you know I'm not just gonna wear a regular pair of heels with something so simple. I'm definitely the type of person that will put on boots, and especially if I can wear socks and if I can wear something flat, I'm gonna do it. So yes, that's this is literally how I would style this dress. I'm mixing metals because the boots have silver on them. I have on gold watch. I have this pin, amazing pin that I thrifted um, on the collar, silver earrings. So this is definitely me all the way but let's see how we can add a little bit of a little mm, oomph to it I just simply I have all of this stuff in my recording room I just grabbed the belt and threw it around the waist I think this is definitely a better length for me just because of you know the way my body is and I just think it's super cute it makes me feel super like flirty and fun so yes I absolutely love this still with the boots and it looks amazing but you guys know that in my recording room I also have the peplum belt I keep it on hand just in case it'll style amazingly with something that I just made so I threw it on with this and yes yes I absolutely love the peplum belt with this now the peplum belt does have this particular color of yellow in it so it just of course I had to see how it would look with it and even with it no matter whether you have it you know pulled down or you want to pull it up to make it a little bit shorter it is super cute I prefer it a little bit shorter but oh uh, it is super cute with the peplum belt if you haven't seen that video definitely go check that out I cropped the jacket and with the leftover I make the peplum belt you guys definitely let me know in the comments which way you like it style better one two or three and if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe I make new videos every Thursday and every Saturday at 9 a.m. and definitely check out you guys were asking me I put this top or corset thing on Instagram and you guys ask me where's the tutorial where's the tutorial I've done this tutorial over a year ago and I'm gonna link it right here I love this top because it is reversible you can wear it like this and in part two I'm gonna show you the other way to wear it so I hope you guys are excited about part two our little crop top with the leftovers yes we're not leaving no material behind no material behind so definitely watch the other videos right here and I will see you in the next one bye